Hello everybody, here is part 2 of my review of the HTC One V from Virgin Mobile USA. Um, first we're going to start with the HTC Sense 4.0 customization, um, which as you can see right in the lock screen you can tell uh, new stuff, you can um, these four there these four icons and then the circle you can drag up the circle to unlock the device or you can drag one of these four icons into the okay hello into the circle to open them and you can change which icons they are um, that appear there um, so say we go to settings personalize <clears throat> um, HTC Sense 4.0 is, I believe, the newest one, or one of the very newest. Um, here you can change the scene, um, which will change the icons you have on and everything. Um, so I could have, here's Virgin Mobile, here's HTC, and right now they're the same because I changed my wallpaper to begin with, but it can, it'll change all the, all the theme kind of stuff with it. Um, and then there's skins you can change. Um, here's the HTC current one. Here's uh, aluminum. It changes everything to be darker, um, including the wallpaper, which you can change back. Um, you can also change the lock screen wallpaper, I believe, um, to be separate. Uh, but anyways, here are the scenes. You can actually get more, as you can see, from the HTC store thing. Um, and then of course there's wallpaper and HTC includes their own wallpapers which is nice so you're not stuck with the um, default Android ones that come with every phone. Uh, here you can see Virgin Mobile's got their own stuff on there as well. But some of them are pretty neat. Um, I like that one, you know. Uh, very colorful and there's a wide, uh, huge variety of them in here. Um, and like I said, yeah, these are very colorful. Uh, you can always get more, and that'll take you to a little store where they're all they're all free. Um, lock screen controls. You can turn them on and off, um, and you can change right here. Um, apps, apps on the home screen, which is this is a new way that Android 4.0 does it, I believe. Um, so you can find these are all the widgets you have. Um, say I want Drive Home to be right here on this page. I can just drag it there. Uh, I'm not sure what the how oh, that that's just for that one. Um, here we can do. Let's see. Say we want. So you can see all your screen all your screens up here, and you can see where you've got space and where you don't. And let's just say we want Google Play Books. I think that is to be right there, and it'll drag it there. So that is some of the customization that's new with uh, this version of Android and HTC Sense. And um, now um, I'm going to talk about Beats Audio a little bit. Um, you can see the logo is on the back there. And um, Beats Audio is, uh, let me grab some headphones to show you guys here. Um, I just have some $30 uh, noise canceling headphones and it worked great with these. Um, so what it is, is it's software that basically enhances sound um, for pretty much anything from videos re you record, to music you've downloaded, to YouTube videos, to Netflix, and it works pretty well. So let's just go to YouTube. Sorry about that, I had to switch cameras, my other one died. Um, Alright, uh, now I'm using a cell phone, so sorry, I'm holding it with one hand. Um, back to that music, um, when it is playing, grabbed new headphones, when it is playing you will see a little icon come up in the top corner, or in the, in the menu bar here, oh, uh, hopefully it works for the ad, yep, Beats Audio, and, uh, there you can turn it on and off and hear the instant, uh, sound change, um, it really improves sound, the bass, the overall quality of the sound. Um, and it is a software, not a hardware thing, so, I mean, clearly you need some decent headphones, but, um, it doesn't matter what kind. Um, yeah, and it doesn't work on the loudspeaker. Um, so that is Beats Audio. Now we're going to do a quadrant standard test. Hopefully, things aren't running and clogging it up. Um, 
We will open our quadrant cylinder test. Let's get rid of let's get rid of some of this. Alright. Um sorry about the poor quality on the camera now. I am using a MyTouch 4G <laughs> cell phone. Um Alright, so while Quadrant runs, um, I'll tell you that sound quality uh, for voice calls was, um, it was good, it was great, you get the good full sound with it, but um, the only downside is um, in low service areas there's quite a bit of hiss and background noise, so that's disappointing. Um, and also the battery, um, the standby time was amazing. I left this phone just on, getting all its uh, refreshing notifications and all that. Uh, I left it on for a couple days, and it uh, still had a good 20% battery left. So that is quite amazing. Um, but when the phone was actually uh, running, it um, through a day, it wouldn't it wouldn't quite make a whole day. Um, the first whole half of the battery life, according to my battery percent monitor thing, um, would go by quite quickly, um, you know, with barely any use. But then the second half would last a little longer. And I've heard other reports that the battery is pretty decent on this phone, but uh, that's just my experience that it wasn't excellent. Um, and again, you can't really expand the battery or anything because it's non-removable. Um, I did not have the phone quit at all where I, like, stop responding where I would need to pull the battery, which is a good sign, because I don't know of any way to actually completely force start, uh, restart this phone. Um, let's hope Quadrant hurries up. I don't have unlimited memory on this phone. Alright, yes, submit. And here we've got, let's see... Um, the HTC One X, that is the, uh, er, yes, oh no, tell me it's going to focus here. The, oh, there we go, perfect. Um, the HTC One X, which is the, um, top version of this, uh, this line of phones, is at the top. And where is, uh, where are we? We are down here with a score of 2202, which is not bad, um, for this lower end device. And again, this is a very, this is a very solid device. This is nothing to uh, see. You can see it beats the Samsung Nexus S, which is a, which is a very uh, quality device. So, and here, if you care about the individual scores, they're down there. Um, so that's the Quadrant. All right, and now we're gonna look at some speed tests that I have done. Um, again, I don't have. Um, I actually don't have Virgin Mobile service anymore, so I'm just going to take a look at what's here. And notice the little icon, um, so this one is Wi-Fi. But otherwise, we've got, you can see about 0 0.6, 0 0.5, and then basically nothing, 0.7. So nothing excellent, but that's pretty typical, sadly, for Sprint in my area. Um... So that's speed, um, but the browser, the new uh, Android Ice Cream Sandwich browser is quite fast and zippy when it comes to speed tests. Um, then also we're going to take a quick look at Temple Run, which is pretty much the only game I downloaded, but since it is almost, um, that's almost always what is requested that I try, um, that's what I got. And the first couple times I used it, it's really slow getting to where it needs to be. Um, and responding before then, and now it works fine, you can see, but uh, after that, um, it's it's pretty smooth gameplay. Do it with my left hand here. As, oh, okay, I missed it. Um, I'm looking through the camera. We'll just play it for a second here. As you can see, okay, as you can see, it plays nicely, and, um, so I don't think you should have a problem with the with the GPU, RAM, and processor this thing has. So all in all, that's the review. Sorry for all the camera changes. Um, I've had uh, many issues recording this review today. Um, first, I had a 
uh, camera die on me, then I had my phone run out of memory on me, and now I'm back to the camera and I'm not using the tripod. So, that's that. But all in all, this is a good phone. Um, it's not as high-end as the Evo V 4G. It does not have 4G. Um, but it's a very slim device. It's, it's um, more affordable at $200 rather than $300. And um, it's it's actually a very good price for this device compared to what other carriers are selling it for. So um, with the new operating system and the new um, user interface from H, uh, HTC, um, I'd say this would be a good choice for um, anyone who can put out the $200 but not the $300. Then again, the screen size is smaller too, which is also a preference. And texting... It's very easy on this device, so if you get it to text, um, this is a very well-rounded device, high-end, well, not high-end for these days, but quite a good phone, very sleek and good-looking, and you can text well on it. So, um, yep, thanks for watching, um, and please subscribe, and uh, also follow me on Twitter at funzier one